So we're heading to Clark Co. State Park. It is in Quibo. Uh, the thing is telling us to not go in there. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, I don't know. Once again, Google Maps or whatever this is led me to the wrong entrance. So we had to turn around and enter from this other way. Which means now somebody's pulling in in front of us as we're coming from the other direction. We're near Quitman, Mississippi. This is a nice state park uh, that uh, it's got trails and a waterfall and all sorts of fun stuff. Alright, coming up. It doesn't look like anybody honor is us the honor box. but We've prepaid, so... I don't know. All right, so looking at, we're site 24. So yeah, we're gonna go off there to the left. Uh, it's supposed to be good fishing. They have a lot of day use stuff out here, including a, spa uh, a splash pad, I think. All right, there's the disc golf course off over there to the left, but we gonna head down here to the campground on the right up on the water so because we missed our entrance now we get to wait for this guy to back his rig in Barry and Stacy are already here it'd be nice for them to tell us to he go in the earth first entrance well, well now I just have to video Barry and Stacy did not have to be everything So this was a very tight, hard back end, but nailed it first try. Thanks to Barry and Jen helping me with the guidance. Fairly level side, had to chalk it just a smidge, but it's a long side. I like that. So what'd you do? So, so you had to off-road into the pine straw? So I, I, was, I would straddle the pavement on the driver's side and get the passenger side and park like this. Yeah! Well, my my passenger side front tire went off right, you can see. Oh, oh dang, It dude. went off right there. Oh like, my. It wouldn't come back out in two-wheel drive. Oh, uh, dang, man. At least you finally got to use four-wheel drive. I know, and my manly tires. Yeah! Ooh, <laughs> that something smells good. Shoot, Stacy making some. Some fried lice. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do chicken teriyaki? Yep. Heck yeah, man. Chicken, pineapple. Ooh, and pineapple. What? Y'all mm. hungry? Heck yeah, I'm starving. Yeah, yeah. Heck yeah, I'll wait until we smell <laughs> this. Mm, smell of vision would be so good right now. Of course, they just make everybody hungry. What you putting on there, Barry? Teriyaki. Teriyaki. Mm. Any mm. Well, we no, one bar. I had that thought when we were pulling in. I thought, okay, if this <laughs> is the right and the correct one, we need mm. to let them mm. know this is the correct mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. And then I forgot. forgot. And then he didn't let me know that it was the wrong one. So <laughs> get our post meal walk on. We hear some uh, karaoke or something going on down there by the water, so we're gonna go check it out. At the bathhouse right here. Men and women, the way it's supposed to be. Two edges in bathhouse. Oh, nice. Good things. Got a little something going on. Oh, yeah. There you go. Got that little karaoke machine. It's a real nice gentleman, Mr. Dwight, came and invited us to sit down and listen to the, to the, to the singing. We just said, well, we're just passing through. Then he invited us for breakfast in the morning at 9, so... I don't know if it's hearty breakfast. It probably is because they're Baptists. Yeah, they're, they, they look like Baptists. They're going to be, yeah, it's hearty breakfast. Break out yeah, baby, it's a breakfast casserole. <laughs> so there's a chunky river and there's a chunky trail. We could go, we'll probably do that later. And then the Yalabusha. Yeah, we're going to Yalabusha. Primitive camping. <laughs> yeah, primitive area. It's like it was controlled. Yeah, yeah. somewhat. Are some of those markers down there on Clark Street? It's nice. So, Clark County. Yeah, so Clark C.O. Yeah. Here's a yurt. And you can rent these. Usually it's like 90 bucks a night or something crazy. Let's see if it, oh, it's I don't open. Oh, no, it's 
You got a lock on it. Can't look inside. Oh, it has a very nice view. All right, I got us a lookout tower down here towards the water. So here's the observatory tower, all 12 feet of it. So we got some sorbet. I think Stacy and I have come to the conclusion that the mango sorbet, eh. Strawberry is really good though. There's no water. Oh, there it is. Still here, babe. Jim got the Blackstone set up for me. Stacy brought, got some eggs from a friend. Oh, bring another trash can. Beautiful. <laughs> All right, so we got our hash browns impregnated with seasoning blend and bacon and eggs cheese. and cheese. We haven't even tasted it yet. Haven't even tasted it yet. Oh, Stacy's got her. She's got a little sauce over there. Let's see what we got here. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Right. Oh. This is the right mm -hmm. amount of saltiness. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that is a good one. Getting our morning ride on. Jen started riding with us, but she wasn't feeling too comfortable on the bike, so she went back. It's pretty windy today. It's a nice little day day use area though. It does kind of smell old, but it is getting renovated. Mm -hmm. This will be nice. I don't know what they charge per night to stay in the cabins here, but yeah. Well, this will be nice though, once it's all said and done. Is that bathroom in there? Huh. Yeah, once it gets furnished. It's from the outside of cabin 12. It's got nice uh, construction adhesive between the Yeah. There's cabin 11 over there. There's Stacy and Barry. Getting our morning ride down this little dirt road. It may, apparently makes a big loop around the uh, around the lake. So we're getting our walk on, post-breakfast walk. So we're on the Chunky Trail. We're gonna go to the Mississippi Trail. And up in here is where some of the um, disc golf is going to be so we can probably scout that a little bit I like the trail i mean it's fairly flat and it's kind of easy on the ankles doesn't have a lot of rocks and stuff like the arkansas trails doesn't have the views either though uh -huh. a bench this is the mississippi trail where you just got on mississippi trail hiking trail Three bridges and cool water holes. Ooh, that's a cool water hole? Yeah, that way. Oh, that's what I'm talking it about. Probably is a loop trail, huh? Yeah, I think so. All right, so on the Mississippi Trail, these are, uh, mm -hmm. it is a sponsored trail, so some folks actually did put some money in this to make it, uh, make it nice. So you can sit and look at the water? That one's facing towards the water. Barry's gonna check the temperature. Oh, yeah. Is it cool? It's cool. Yeah. It's about 70 degrees. 70? Yeah. So. Are we continue on this or what? Ah, uh, let's oh, see. Yeah, see, see how gold fishing, goldfish location? Ah, uh, still on the Mississippi Loop. All right. So, I wonder if this is the goldfish. Um, oh, I would not want to be a goldfish in this. Nope. Yeah. Instantaneous. Right, Rog? Yeah. Pretty much. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, he's, she's digging a hole. She digging a hole to plant her. Bank girl, don't plant eggs right there. We're literally at the entrance to the park. She gonna try to plant her eggs. There's the fairway for disc golf hole number five. Which is fairly narrow, kind of like Claiborne is. Big whole metal reservoir tank is on the on the trail so barry told me to video it for future documentations and can you believe he said he's gonna blame me if he got stung by water yeah exactly so we determined that since that's the water tower these are the footings for when this was a uh 
was an actual tower set up on top of this hill. We just went up this went up this hill. So now Barry sees what it is. He's excited, so he's going back to film the thing for his little channel. We're in the home stretch. Heading back to the trailers. It's 12 o'clock, so probably about time to eat some leaves. I'm filming Barry, filming me. Barry's making grilled cheese, boudé, sandwiches. Sounds good. Fortunately, Barry's numbers for his cholesterol are really good, which means we can eat good again, which is very good for me. <laughs> hmm? Grab napkins? Okay. Ooh, nice, healthy. Mm -hmm. First bite. So far, so good. Mmm. Mmm. You use butter? Yeah. Oh, plant -based oh yeah, plant-based butter. That that's Olive wonderful. Hard boiled. Olive oil oh. butter. Oh, olive oil. Hard boiled butter. Yeah. butter. Okay, so here at the Dunn's Falls. Put it on YouTube though. This Dunn guy diverted this river to make his uh, make his little water mill thing. Unfortunately, so had the Civil War. The newly formed Confederate government confiscated John Dunn's container and buildings and under Dunn's supervision was soon put to work manufacturing blankets and the would flow down that trough come over to this other side go down that chute to the wheel down there you can see where it uh powered back over there there's a, a, a mill over here it would turn that shaft coming out of it you see and it would a series of gears puts underneath that shaft and mm -hmm. powers all the equipment in that old mill yeah Corn comes down that chute and into here. There's ground on this. Yeah, old machinery. That is a an old wine press. Like we crush the grapes, squish them out. All right, so swim at your own risk. 
but swimming is definitely not recommended. Alrighty then, I definitely don't let her. Oh yeah? Oh yeah, look at that. Let's turn that and lots of other stuff up in there. Jen says there's some more. Oh wow, they lots of mechanical stuff. Steep stairs. Way down to the bottom. The old chunky river. Moving rather swiftly with the spring rains that we've had. Oh, wow, yeah. So that was part of the mechanism of the. It was like over here, like a tower looking thing or something. Yeah. Oh, no. What is this called? This is a Cougar Wild? What is something? Uh, like? Forest River, River Vibe. Forest River Vibe. Okay, so it's a, got dual, dual slides. Yeah. And then we came over here. Oh, wait, what's in here? Oh, it's a, what? It's got another room behind the other slide with bunks. <laughs> OMG. Oh, wow. Ooh, I'll nice definitely shower. take a, Shower in that. Skylight or something. Oh, wow. That is neat. Okay, so we're in one of the higher end ones. I think I like this. This is so spacious, this living area. The sound bar. I mean, <gasps> what is is there? And it does have a window in the living area. That's impressive. Look at the fancy oh, wow. shower head. <laughs> That's impressive. That is impressive. What? Man, if you need to wind yourself up, there it is. Oh, is that three foot bird? Three, ha, ha. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. This used to be a bank because there's a, be a massive safe. That's pretty neat. National? Oh, yeah, Meridian Bank. Faux show. Oh, the girls left us. A little lounge in the area. Oh my uh, goodness. You gotta look at the menu. Ooh. Um, so mm. we're gonna go with. Alright, I got the wafer. Barry's got a what? The Freedom. Freedom. It's uh, two patties, beer cheese, Ooh. candied jalapenos, and bacon. I thought you were gonna say Freedom like um, Mel Gibson did. Freedom! And then take a big bite. Is it oh, yummy? Yeah, good. They're good. Jen got a dumpster fire. Mm. I got the oinker to pull pork. That beer is kind of strong, though. Mm. There's a it's like World War One memorial right outside the restaurant. All right, so they're coming over here to the Three Foot Hotel. Elijah, our server, said they got a great view up there. So this is the elevator. So we cannot find roof access. We've been on like multiple levels. So this is roof access, the box car. Is this a restaurant or? So here 
is uh, oh wow here's the roof access windy okay guys scary <laughs> scary and windy so there's where we just ate The other side, we actually saw that parking there garage from the restaurant. We're like, Oh, what is that? Yep, it's an abandoned parking garage, looks like. Getting our walk in downtown Meridian. So, there he says, This is the oldest restaurant in Mississippi. It's called Wideman's, established in 1870. All right, we're getting back here to the Clarco State Park. Eat us some dessert. So we I came back with some brownies. Exercise yeah, really 176%, 53 minutes. Why is mine so much less? I don't know. Slept good last night. Oh, uh, took a pill. Now fixing to go eat with the bear and Stacy. Well, I thought bear is supposed to be cooking this morning. Oh, ooh, what you got? Mm. Boudin impregnated ooh, hash browns. Wow. What do you think? That smells, smells good? It smells incredible, actually. Can't wait to chow down on that. Mm. Boudin <laughs> impregnated <laughs> hash browns. Ooh, look at you, Stace. Mm -hmm. Mary and Stacy here. Working on the omelets. There's our rig over there. They're gonna come check out the bathhouse. You know, gotta do a complimentary bathhouse checker out. One of those stalls was closed and locked, so I don't know if somebody was in there or not. <laughs> Let's help, Barry. <laughs> Got some orange juice. Smells incredible. Oh. Mm. Got a little hot temperature there for a second, but once it kind of cools mm. down. Mm hmm. That's really good. Stacy did good. Steamy, hot. Got some bacon, impregnated. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. And any season. And we got some hash browns that are impregnated with boudin. You can see how this is. Ooh. Mmm. That's a good combo as well. I want to get our frisbee golf on. So we hiked in up Mississippi Trail again. We're thinking we might could have driven into this area. Which would have brought us to this little tea starter thing. But anyway, we're fixing to get off over here. The girls were whining because we had to walk a little further than we thought. Only one inch on the map, so couldn't have been that far. So we're doglegging to the right up there. I do not want to go to the right. It is a sharp downhill through harsh terrain. Barry throws it to the right anyways. Oh, and he went into the drain. Retrieve this at your own risk. Stay safe because that is a really far gully. You could have to go retrieve it in if you mess up. Ooh. Oh, come on. Oh. Yay. Okay, filming me. Filming my. Oh. There's the lodging area. We all made it in sub under way, way over par. Man, this is a life. Eating salt and vinegar, drinking some juice while Barry cooks. Man, what you say? My favorite. Wanna join me, babe? I am. Oh, Barry getting his clean on after he made some. Yeah. Uh, 
Oh, eat some leaves. Oh no, it's missing the container. How did it miss the container? I don't know. Ew. Got our chicken salads. Not chicken salad, but chicken with salad. Barry getting his mix on. Ooh, I like all the Ooh. colors. It's so colorful mm -hmm. and fresh and healthy. And healthy. Mm. Ooh, leaves and croutons. Mm -hmm. All right, so they let us out here in the middle of nowhere to go see some falls or something. Oh, oh, they dumped a bunch of, oh man, people are terrible. Roger brought us down. Roger brought us. <laughs> so Jen wants to take a trail down to the bottom. Come in, Barry. That is pretty neat, though. I'll zoom in. Barry's broke. GoPro can't zoom in, but my iPhone 13 can. This is free. Okay, so what's the name of this place, Barry? Rawson Falls. Rawson Falls. Also known as Rawson Falls Garbage Dump. Garbage Dump. Yeah, see, look at this. All this garbage. People are just... Man, it's such a beautiful place, and the people are just going to freaking trash it. Getting our walk around the lake on it's fairly clear pretty that's that's massive. almost twice as high as any of the ones we have right. i just like how there's not a lot of underbrush you know you go to like farmable you know some of the clay burn you know there's like in between the sites there's just a bunch of brush and stuff but they keep this park pretty open. I like that. This is site 18 and 19. We kind of determined we liked it if we were to do a, you know, come back. And it was both couples. We wanted to be kind of close to each other. We, uh, we would like 18 and 19. Site number one would be, would be if you just by yourself. I liked number one the best. But if you're going to be with friends, 18 and 19, definitely. All right, so we came down to the, whatever the lodge this is. Checking it out down at the day use area. We oh, got nice stuff over there. All right, got the golf cart rentals. Here's our visitor center. Here's the visitor center. Conservation Corps that built this park. Oh. So they built in some temporary cabins and housing while they were actually building the park. Oh, that's pretty neat. And she said that's where they lived when they built it. And you know the goldfish pond that we yeah. saw? Yeah. It's right here. Oh, wow. And then, this is what it looks like today. Yeah, we saw that. But it used to have like a sidewalk so, around. They don't want me to go and go check out the stuff down there. They said there's nothing to see, so I guess I won't go see it then. Barry's got this new disc, so he's going to try it out. Ooh, yeah, it's got a little distance to it. All right, Raj is going to try. Raj is going to try out my new disc. See how he does with it. If I like it, I'll buy one. That was terrible, Roger. That was so bad. Let me go get that. Little scamp going by. Those are cute. That's a little one. There's a little tiny one. one. Barry's hearing some splattering in his toilet, so he's gonna try to give a little, little flushy flush. We'll see how the. Oh yeah. Well, you didn't hardly do any, dude. You're still gonna hear splashy splash. Oh, it's still right there. Ooh, it's full of turd. You gotta hit it with some, um, some gray so you can flush it down with some gray. Uh, he hit it again. Did it come out? Oh, you got the toilet tissue? Oh. Did it go in there yet? I didn't. You saw some toilet tissue go by? You. So we just ate fajitas, and I forgot to film the whole thing, but just know they were incredible. Now we're finna go walk in so Barry can throw the trash out. You. So how would y'all rate this park here? Out of 10? Yeah, I guess. Uh, as far as cleanliness, stuff to do. Seven to eight. Seven, yeah. Seven to eight. That's what you're going with, Stace? Sometimes it starts with a 
Yeah, six, seven. Six, seven. Yeah, that's probably about fair. I mean, it's it's not nasty. No, it's clean. And I mean, it's yeah, relatively it's clean. Some roads are super narrow. Yeah. Yeah. Narrow. yeah. yeah, they does, and they're in trees the middle right of it. Next to the road, trees right next to the yeah. Pads. Then the it's full hookup, but then your sewer hookup behind or the pipe in the ground is sticking oh, up a foot. Sticking out up of a foot. Yeah. Six. Say a seven. Yeah, you going seven? All right, mm -hmm. I go seven. But they're going to renovate it, so yeah. Got disc golf, um, fishing. Yeah, disc golf can rent kayaks. Yeah, the disc golf was nice. Yeah, it was a good. Yeah, Barry bought a disc, so you know that was good. Concrete yeah, I mean, pads are nice. I brought my disc. Yeah. I could have tried out my disc some more. Yeah, man. Dog, so there's this squirrel. Look at them making all sorts of racket right there. Barry's playing squirrel noises to get him excited. I like the shoreline they have kept it up. We needed it appropriately. Yeah, it's better than a lot of state parks. So we're getting our post walk brownie fixed. Mmm. Oh, Jen makes some good brownies. She puts little chocolate chips in them. Some melts. What'd you say? They're almost as good as my chips. aunt Sally's. I wonder if Sally's. I milk chocolate. But not quite. Mm. After our morning devotional, we got bacon and eggs going. Jen and I sharing a one last meal before we head out. So you blink, and then all of a sudden, you're packing up, getting ready to leave. Getting the old black tank flush on. Oh, gotta love that. Oh, ah. You. We used 52.7 gallons for these three days we were here. I'm gonna go ahead and back the truck up with another point that way. That's what I did. Or should I try to make the trailers? Make a point. Like the trailers, you know, this point this way, which means the truck's gonna be pointing that way. Yeah. I would skip. I'd try to get as far to the, this way so you have the, the widest arc possible to get your wheels from dropping that other side. Looking good over here, dude. Looking good. Looking good. Looking great on this side. Looking great on this side. Yeah, you're good, dude. You're good. You got it over here. Yeah, you got it easy over here, man. Two feet on this side. You're clear. You're clear. All right, we're rolling out of Clark Coe State Park. You. Ours was a little bit easier to get out. Man, I tell you, the more miles you put on these things, just the experience makes it easier. Just swing as wide as you can and, you know, do what you can. I think we overthought it a little bit. And, uh, but anyway, got berries out, got mine out. We on the road now. Supposedly it's been raining really bad. No, box truck, don't go that way. <laughs> berries laughing at this guy. That box truck going over that little bridge right there. Four ton gross weight, he may not be loaded. Jen's making us some um, chicken salad sandwiches on the way home. 